Hey guys, it is week one. We are going to do a breakdown of each individual move, and then I will show you how the small combination of moves goes together. Remember, keep your abs tight, take your time, don't lift beyond your current level. If it seemed difficult, just stick with the individual moves. Don't try putting it together. With that said, let's get started. The first move is going to be a variation on your firefly. What we're going to do is we're going to hook the inside knee like normal, and then you're going to take the outside leg and extend it. Now, if you don't have a lot of hamstring flexibility, don't worry about extending it high. It's just a, a pretty different version. It's not required. If you need to keep your other leg below you in firefly, that's fine. So we're going to grab the pole with the inside knee. Keep your abs tight. Hands in regular firefly position. You're going to sit heavy, and then you're going to extend the free leg. So, if I was to switch hands just to show you, it's going to look like a swizzle stick. Okay? I don't have a lot of hamstring flexibility, so mine, without practice, won't be that high. Sit back, hands in regular position, lean a little, and extend. Sit back, you can see that I'm sitting heavy into my pole leg. I'm gonna pull with my hands. I'm leaning away. So my push and pull here is I'm pulling with my hands and pulling with my top shoulder while I'm actually pulling with my knee but also pushing with my hip at the same time when I sit heavy. So it's sit heavy and extend. Sit heavy and extend. Sit heavy, you can see my hip actually come away from the pole. I'm gonna lean back a little bit, but at the same time, I'm also leaning away from the pole. Lean and extend. second move in this combo is going to be your lock off lift. To remind you what that is, that is two hands together pulling yourself upward so that you are actually bending or keeping your elbows bent. So if I start from a straight position, which most people cannot, the lock off would be the lift with the bent elbows and staying there. If I'm practicing my lock off from the floor, two hands together, elbows squeeze in and down, boobies rest against the pole, one foot comes up, squeeze together, and hold the elbows at a bent position for as long as you can. Make sure when you do that, you try a few times switching which hand is on top. Boobies against the pole, squeeze the elbows in and down. Both hands are pulling in the downward direction. One foot up, find your balance, and keep the elbows bent. The legs are not touching the pole. You're not grabbing the pole with your legs. My legs are away from the pole. The third move is a basic jasmine. So with the basic jasmine, that's the inside knee grabs the pole, the outside leg feeds behind the pole. So inside knee high, I'm gonna pull from my top hand, pull from my pole knee, which is very similar to what we did already this, this month, this last month. I'm going to pull from my bottom hand and slide the bottom leg behind right up to my hip pocket. So when I say my hip pocket, right here, right where my leg meets my torso. Okay? Pull with the top hand, pull with the top knee. That means my knee is, my heel's pulled in towards my booty, my toes are pointing towards the floor, my knee is pointing towards the ceiling and it's wedged against the pole. I'm going to slide the bottom leg behind. When I do, I'm going to flip the bottom hand 
come up to the hip pocket, and I'm going to rest the pole right in that hip pocket. So eventually you'll be able to straighten the leg, but for now, we're going to go ahead and keep the knees bent. If you feel comfortable, you can straighten your leg. Don't let go of the pole. Pulling from the top hand, pulling from the top knee, pushing from the bottom hand with a flexible elbow, keeping the pole in my knee pit. Knee, pull with the top hand, pull with the top knee, invert the fingers, push from the bottom hand, pull the knee behind, and up into your hip pit. Remember, if you feel comfortable, you can go ahead and straighten the leg. Don't let go of your hands. The fourth move or last move in this teeny combo is going to be a plank slide. So there will be a little bit of a torso roll out of the jasmine you just learned. But to practice the, the plank slide, we're going to go ahead and put your booty up against the pole hands to the floor, step back just like you're doing down dog, okay? You're going to push through the hands and you're going to squeeze one leg against the pole. Then you're going to lift the other leg and cross your ankles. Booty against the pole, hands down, walk back. Now, if you're too high, you can just walk your, drop your bum. You don't have to push your bum high to the ceiling. You can walk your feet back where you need to. Squeeze the leg in and across, and then pick up the other heel while you're doing a push-up position. If your legs are holding, the next thing is to learn how to slide. So basically what you're doing is if you're in that push-up position, you're slowly releasing your elbows while you're squeezing your thighs against the pole. When you slowly release your elbows, you keep your body as straight as possible and everything slides as one unit. I drop my bum a little bit, squeeze my leg up and in, cross, and reverse push-up. From there, all you're going to do is scoop your knees up. So you do a little push with your hands and slide your legs up underneath you. Let me touch on that torso roll real quick. So from Jasmine, all I want you to do is put your leg in place, put your knee in place, and put your your free hand on the floor. All I want you to do is push this leg against the pole and roll. And where am I? I am now in that plank position to come down. Here's the fun part. Let's try and put it all together. We have the one leg firefly to a small lock off pull or lock off lift. Slide the back leg or the free leg behind the jasmine. Small torso roll. Okay, moves one and two. Modified firefly to a lifting lock off. Knee comes in, remember it doesn't need to be high. Hands in normal position. Sit, lift the leg. Then you're going to bring your elbows up, or pull your elbows down, I should say, so that it pulled me right off the pole. I don't want you to come off the pole, but I need you to feel the lift. So here, sit into your firefly, leg extension, and lift. Okay, inside arm high. Outside hand to elbow, inside leg. So remember, pull, 
pull, push, pull. Sit heavy, extend, pull the elbows, and lift your body up onto the pole, or lift your body in an upward motion. From the lock-off position, you are going to slide the free leg behind the pole to get to that jasmine. So if I'm in this position, I'm going to let my hands slide down while I slide my back leg behind the pole. Now you can see it'll be easy to do the torso roll to the plank because I'm so close to the floor. You also notice I didn't come right up to my hip pocket on that slide. If you want to practice getting into your hip pocket for that slide, it's perfectly okay. If you feel as though you've got enough control and stick with your thighs, then you can feel free to stop mid-thigh to complete the torso roll into the plank. So here it is again, inside knee grab the pole. We're in that lifted lock off position. I slide my free leg behind the pole and let my hands slide down the pole a little bit. From that jasmine position, we're gonna do the torso roll into the plank. So we're gonna go ahead and get in that jasmine position. So I was here, my foot was off the floor. I'm gonna take my bottom hand and place it on the floor. I am pressing my bottom leg. My push is my bottom thigh pushing into the pole. My pull is still my other hand and my knee. I'm also pushing from the floor. I'm gonna go ahead and find a comfortable position for my hand and I'm going to literally push with my Bent leg, roll over, unfold it. You can see where my ankles are crossed. And slide. Push from my hands, unlock my ankles, and pull my knees up underneath me. From the jasmine position, my bottom hand goes to the floor. I'm pushing with my bottom hand. I'm pushing my straight leg into the pole. I'm pulling with my knee. I'm pulling with my top hand. I'm going to push, grab the floor with my other hand, pinch the pole with this knee, roll, cross my ankles, and slide. Both hands push into the floor, and I slide my knees up underneath me, to a kneeling position. All right, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. We're gonna put all four moves together. So that was the modified firefly. Pull up into lock off. Slide the free leg behind into the modified jasmine. Torso roll to face the floor in plank. Slide and pull your shins up underneath you. I've added the transitions in there. There are only four basic moves. Hands in regular position. Inside knee, grab the pole low. We're gonna sit back into that firefly, extend the legs, lock off, slide behind, let the hands slide down the pole. Press the bottom leg into the pole. Hinge with the top knee, pull with the top hand. Other hand comes to the floor, push, Push, roll, and slide. Push with your hands. Pull your shins up underneath you to kneeling. Basic position for firefly. Here we go. Extend, lock off. Slide behind. Slide the hands down. One hand comes to the floor. Other hand to the floor. Roll the legs, cross the ankles, and slide. Push through the hands, unlock the ankles, pull the knees up, 